Here are 10 cool features I absolutely love about the Bamboo Lab P1S. Number one, nozzle cleaning. Now the first time I used this awesome printer, I thought I'd missed something on the setup and broke the machine. But turns out that's just the nozzle cleaning system in action. It is a fully automated way of making sure your nozzle is clean when going through the auto bed leveling process and when printing with multiple colors. It wipes across a small plastic tab a few times and then the excess filament drops into the poop chute. Then it performs a second pass by rubbing the nozzle closely across the bill plate to ensure it gets every last piece of plastic, giving you a clean nozzle every time. There's even an upgrade you can make to the system that removes the plastic tab and replaces it with this rubber grid, but I haven't had any need to upgrade it to that just yet as the stock system works great. Number two, speed. Another great thing about the P1S is that it prints quickly on harder materials. Now I print with PETG a lot and this plastic prefers lower print speeds. On my Ender 3 V3 KE, I can't go past 30 millimeters a second without having problems. On the P1S, I can crank it up to about 300 millimeters a second and get perfect prints every time. Now, not only does this save me a ton of time, but it also allows me to output way more than before when I was limited by such slow speeds. Number three, large build volume. As I've come from a long line of Ender machines with their print volume being around 220 by 220, the P1S has a volume of 256 by 256. Now, this may not seem like a huge difference, but when you put the two side by side in the slices, you can see how much more you can actually fit onto the plate. So the output on my P1S can essentially output the same amount as two of my Ender 3s. Number four, bed leveling. The bed is just always level. Due to the triple Z axis rod design, the bed leveling system works flawlessly and I can't really say the same about the CR Touch on an Ender machine. Number five, monitoring. It has a built-in light and webcam. While the webcam doesn't give a high resolution, it does the job well enough. You don't need to buy a light or a webcam and place them externally because it's already neatly built in, allowing you to easily monitor your prints remotely, even from outside your own local network. Number six, filtration system. It has a built-in activated carbon filter. And as the machine is enclosed, you get far less printer fumes, which is especially helpful when you have these inside. Number seven, minimal tinkering. This machine is super hands-off. Just press print and watch it go. Everything just works. There's no PID tuning, no Z offset adjustment, no E-step calibration. The only manual adjustment I've found on this machine is sometimes needing to tension the belts, but as there is a sensor built-in monitoring this, you never really have to worry about it until the machine tells you it needs tightening. This saves so much time and allows you to just get on with printing without all the fuss that normally comes with it. I've owned an Ender 3, two Ender 3 V3 SEs, and two Ender 3 V3 KEs, and all of them eventually run into issues and require countless hours of replacing parts and adjusting settings to get them to work properly. With the P1S, all of this is a thing of the past. Number eight, the enclosure. Not only does it keep the printer looking neat and tidy without any loose cables flying around, but it also keeps the dust out, keeping your parts working properly for longer without needing to clean it as often. It also means you don't need to buy a separate tent-like enclosure for your printer, as this not only doesn't look that nice, but it takes up more space than is necessary, limiting the amount of printers you can fit on one shelf or in a room. You also have a removable glass top that not only allows you to monitor your prints from above, but helps with cleaning and maintenance. Number nine, the AMS. This is just a huge quality of life improvement for the overall printer. No more welding filament together and then wasting time respooling it because when you run out, the AMS unit simply moves on to the next full spool right next to it. You can print multiple colors, your filament stays much drier for much longer, it detects filament runout and tangled filament, and you don't need to waste time loading and unloading different filament spools. Now I don't have one of these yet, but as soon as I can afford one, I'm getting it. Number 10, it's just damn sexy.